caused by people. Caspa, it's let's crazy. go. Last but not least. Super passionate about. So Caspa's going to become the first ZK compatible proof of work crypto. And not just as ZK, it doesn't stop there, but having so full sovereignty, having full composability, all on the L1. It's, it's mind boggling. And here's something crazy, something that I want to make another video about implementing Zcash style privacy shielded transactions onto the L1. So absolutely, this type of thing is possible. You could you could just even think of even a VProg having such features, or even of course a layer two can absolutely do that as well. But if, but ideally we run things through as a VProg because you have all these benefits, the sovereignty, the atomic composability, all with VProgs rather than the fragmentation of layers, of layer twos. So of course it's optimal to do a VProg, but something in between, which is something that's even being worked on as we speak, and this something that Yonatan also mentions in asking perhaps some initiatives for someone to pick it up or you know expand upon it, is to have something like a like a mixing, a privacy mixing uh, uh, service, I guess. Not even a, it's it's a basically a decentralized service, a privacy mixing tool that uses zero knowledge proofs on a stateless server, it's like a as as a, a style like a game lobby that acts as a coordinator where it helps Casper, Caspers, he calls them, Caspians uh, find fellow hodlers anonymously. So basically it has a game server lobby style where you enter this lobby anonymously and you have, it all like mixes, you put Caspa in and you don't know where and who it's coming from. And then once it's in there together, it mixes it and then it's now, it, it can output it in, in, in very private ways. So, that's the that's the whole deal here, it's, and that's something that this whole mixing thing, Caspa funding has been running and been trying to put out something called like a mixer, and here here it is is sharing it open source, love it the Caspa way. So this type of thing's already being built, and there's some grounds for it to even expand with zero knowledge proofs to keep it fully decentralized. But yeah, I mean it keeps all public identification, all public keys. Uh, off of the coordinated server. So it, it keeps it very decentralized and very anonymous to the point where it allows privacy for transactions once they go through such a, such a mixing. So the only downside, the only, uh, I guess, risk is that it's technically not Sybil proof. Sybil refers to like being able to beat the system as in create as many, and in this case, uh, Caspians joining this this server, this lobby, you could you could have one entity do make, having so many different uh, appeared like so many different cast means are joining this lobby, but in reality, it's just this one entity. It could be the IRS just flooding this lobby, so that there's there's a hundred people in the lobby. Ninety nine of them are the IR is the IRS entity, and then only one of them is this uh, other uh, other Caspian. And if they do such a thing, then they would actually know that all right we'll, they'll know where the the, the casper that leaves and such they'll know that that is referring that that links to that single caspian so in that case it's a privacy compromise but it's still a lot better than the current fully transparent situation that the caspa block deck runs as so this is basically like the next the next easy step to reach is a mixing server this is definitely doable and of course like i mean this is pretty extreme a full on Sybil attack is definitely extreme and it's not going to affect like, you know, everything all the time, but it, it's a very interesting uh, privacy solution. So there's that, his two dwarks, <laughs> dwark referring to the smallest unit of a Caspa. Uh, so it's interesting, but yeah, but going forward, again, you're gonna be able to have privacy absolutely as an application running as a VProg or even as a layer two. Like, absolutely, without any doubt, literally Zcash is a privacy solution that cannot scale. They have scaling limitations, so much so that they want to go actually and upgrade to be upgrade, or more so downgrade, to proof of stake to improve the scalability, exactly like Ethereum had already done. And that's that's crazy, because Caspa is going to allow the privacy, the same exact privacy, while maintaining the scalability, and of course, decentralization. So that's a, a crazy thing about proof of work that, you know, usually you can't get the scalability, but Caspa is built 
different. Solving the trilemma, the scalability, the decentralization, security, but now also solving the DeFi trilemma. So no longer do you have liquidity fragmentation, no longer do you have L2 extraction, and no longer do you have uh, governed and controlled servers. Now you have fully sovereign uh, control. So this is just, Casper is just wild. And obviously the markets haven't priced it in yet. Obviously, but what has been priced in, I mean, Murad, Murad has already priced in the fact that Casper's community is different. Casper's community is, is, a, the word is a cult. Cult is just a word we use to kind of filter a com complicated idea into a yeah. single word. And that idea is the way XRP people XRP. Work, yeah. The way Cardano people Cardano. Work, yeah. The way Link people work, Link. The way Caspa people work. Caspa, it's let's go! Last but not least. Super passionate about it. Last but not least. Link people work. The way Caspa people Caspa. Work. It's those like crazy people, you know? Crazy and people. They call us crazy. Super passionate about it. Yeah. Super exactly. passionate because it is next level. And notice that Caspa is the newest tech of all of them. It's a, it's a tech breakthrough. Murad, I mean, he's a big time uh, meme coin guy. He he really likes the XP, SPX 600 or whatever it is, 6900. He really likes that. But at the end of the day, that meme coin is on a blockchain. Natively, it was built on a blockchain. And yeah, it could be cross compatible. It could have on different blockchains. But at the end of the day, it's on a blockchain. Okay. And it was built on a blockchain. What is the first and leading meme coin to every single blockchain? That's what makes Nacho the Cat different. That's what makes it shine in all the millions and millions of meme coins. Nacho the Cat, nothing will ever be first again. What they're building, all okay, right, they were the first, but not only do they stop at being the first, but now they're building hand in hand with Caspa. That's the way it should be. Also, Fair launched, sharing the values of Caspa, the most fairly distributed meme coin that you could ever find in the crypto market as well. So it's one of the top five factors that makes a coin success. The fact that it has this cult community being, you know, the fact that it's even our greatest strength, having a voice when Cole's uh, key opinion leaders, they stay unpaid and they stay silent despite our breakthroughs. So of course, uh, like you have this shill, this low key shill by Murad, Casp is being seen, Casp is being heard, and once VProgs and Dagnite, Zero Knowledge Proofs, once all of this comes into the picture, it's going to be impossible to ignore the technology, the advancement that Casp offers to the crypto industry. It's going to quite literally be impossible to the point where you have to notice it, otherwise you're going to get left behind. And then like th those that do notice it, they're going to see the benefits of being an early adopter of this technology. So that's why Kraken really did a smart move getting in early as a tier one as fast as possible. As of course, they have much less uh, legal scrutiny uh, than something like Coinbase, Binance. So it's a lot easier for Kraken being a little smaller, but still like, so of course you already know institutions are coming to Caspa. Keep hodling your bags, especially when fear is, we're at an extreme fear period. This is the darkness before the light. We're in the tunnel and our time, our era is coming. Mid 2026, going into 2027, it's going to be huge for Caspa. Technologically speaking, it's going to create a FOMO level like none other. I mean, Caspa key here is already talking about Caspa with a global annual summit. They're already discussing Caspa and how it could improve and be utility for their energy, their whole energy infrastructure. Because they have this, they, they also operate this company, Dye Desert Energy. It's a big, huge thing out, uh, I don't know, somewhere out in Europe or North Africa or somewhere in Africa. I don't know. But they have a huge conglomerate of a company working with energy. So, of course, they want to in, uh, introduce Caspa and integrate Caspa in their whole business and multiple and create multiple businesses from Caspa using Caspa as the infrastructure, as the rails. So it's pretty crazy. Gotta love it, man. No, it's all time high. You gotta keep, we need to decentralize Casper, all right? So Solana has, for example, it has hundreds of nodes. I think it may even have like 800 validators. All right, we need to get to a thousand. We are more decentralized than Solana because the, the minimum requirements to become a node operator for Casper is so minuscule that it does, there's not nothing stopping every single Caspian to become a node operator. To run a node, a public node. There's nothing stopping us. For Solana, you need to have so much money to become a validator. You need to have an enormous server, like enormous hardware, such so costly. 
Solana is much more, it's a lot more adopted. So they allow that that's, that's what they've been able to build. They have a lot more people out there, but no, we need, we're grassroots and it is on us to show and prove to the world that Caspa is the most decentralized crypto out there, not just with nodes, but also with mining, hashing power, whole miners. That's the difference that Caspa allows. So we need to keep pushing for nodes. Absolutely. You have to, if you truly believe in the block DAG, you must run a Caspa node. All right. Check my videos. I have two videos out. I highly recommend running it from your own home rather than using Flux, but Flux, it's still a great option. Um, if you have even to run them simultaneously, like you have one from home, run three nodes on Flux, no problem. Or yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm running one from home and I got three somewhere in Europe on Flux. So that's, it's, it's awesome. All right. So this is no better time to run a node. Let's get to a thousand. So thousand nodes is our floor value. Oh, that's going to be our macro floor. That's, that's work for that. All right. Stay bullish. Cause Jim, Jim Craner officially turned bearish. This is a time where you must stay bullish. This is the time. And of course, the era for Casper is coming. Stay bullish, my friends. Till the next one. Peace out.